Jade Goody. Since leaving the Big Brother house, Britain's most successful reality TV star has had a full-on three years. There's been breakups, babies, and a new boyfriend. And all the while, she's appeared just about everywhere and said just about everything. I thought the king and queen are in charge of the pensions. <laughs> she might not be famous for her brains. I admit to being fit. Or good looks. Attractive. <laughs> But Jade's about to combine both and set up a beauty salon. She's got the qualifications, the cash. I'm putting 50 grand in of my own money. And a lot to get her head around. I listen, I'm very interested. But soon after they're finished, I'm just like, what was that about again? And whatever happens, we're following her every move. I am just sort of jumping at the deep end. I always tend to do that, just like something, get it, and hopefully it work. So I don't really have a clue what I'm doing. <laughs> Today on Jade Salon. Going around here and pampering parties. I've only got a million other thousand things to be doing. Has she got what it takes to be a beautician? Oh, God, I can't do this all day every day. No way, I'm horrible. Hairdressing guru Lee Stafford gives Jade the fear. If you could come in on 50 grand, then you've done a bloody good job. I reckon you'll spend 100 grand. She puts work on hold and heads for Dubai. I think he's in India. Jade and Ryan are looking hot, hot, hot. I really thought you guys were filming a pornography <laughs> film. I don't believe. I cannot believe I that. I thought this was the beginning of it. But all's not well in the land of love. Enough! Shut up! It's not my fault you got a short temper. Okay. People are a bitch. Where now? What? My turn right there. I can't. Oh, sorry. I'm on my way to the spray tanning course. I did um, search play the first step, which is um, creaming on the body. I don't really want to take my clothes off. I don't want to get my kit off. I don't really want my baps out on television. I know people can think, oh, well, she had her baps out in the paper, but I actually, it's not my intention to get my baps out in the paper. I go on holiday if I want to sunbathe topless. That's up to me, but to actually go, oh, there we go, right, I'm going to stand here while there's eight other people and you're going to spray my tits for me while I'm being cameraed, I'm not really up for that. And I've got brown nipples already. They don't need to be any browner. Go. I can't drive Danny. Very scared. Thanks. Hi. Your skin is amazing. Thank you. Oh, is this the little, is this the actual football one that I've been talking about? You'll get, this is Ultimate Air, this is the one they do having. This yeah, one this is here. five grand, this one. Two, nine, nine, five, yeah. 3,000. Yeah? This oh, is OK. Good. So that's mine. You have to keep. So if my salon goes crap, I could just put it in my car and do it from the back of the car. <laughs> You've got a great big gun. The further away you are, the lighter it will go on. The closer you are, the darker it will go on. One, two, three. If a woman was to go naked, you'd have to spray their la-la bit. Yeah. La-la. Oh, it's my God. It's mostly got Brazilians there, yeah. OK? It's not a nice position, is it, is it, to be in if someone wants to take their knickers off? <laughs> Hey! It's quite quick, really, isn't it? Yeah, it's good. I can't believe I'm doing the man. I feel responsible for his... But I feel responsible now. If I do it wrong, he won't be able to pull. <laughs> I hate working with gloves. Hands get all sweaty. Mm. It's better than getting tan on, yeah. you know? I'm going to get a surprise day, I'm afraid. Because <laughs> I only do this when I'm naked. <laughs> you haven't got your boxes on it, yo. No, I haven't. No! What's that happened? So good, Bob. <laughs> I'm scared. Now you're going to put it on half a size. A little bit more than that. OK, try the one a little bit closer. You're going to look after. Lovely. Right, now we're down on the ground now. The J 
shape, you're going to press going up and down. All right, Lisa. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Jade, you didn't do a bad job. It's pretty good. Look at that! Very good. And what aftercare is it going to... Your aftercare, time? you're not allowed to shower okay. for eight hours. Use the gym, do any sort of exercise where you're sweat. Thanks very much. That's it. Is that it? Yeah, you're not looking for it. You're not looking that bad. You're looking a bit pasty when you walked in. Really? You're looking a little better now. Well, thank you very much. It's all right. Cheers. Can't get your clothes on. <laughs> yeah. I think I did quite well actually. I was quite impressed with that. Um, I can't wait to get one of those machines. I'm going to be bronzy and good day all the time. <laughs> He's a good looking man, and he was nice actually. I thought I'd get a bit shy, like bending down that low, but I was quite comfortable. Weirdly enough. <laughs> Bye. Bye, girls. Bye. Stafford, he owns three successful hair salons. I like it, I've done work, I wasn't sure, I was a bit worried. But no, I like it, it's lovely. Thanks, Lee. Thank you. I'm coming today because I'm, I'm setting my own salon up, beauty salon. My budget is. 50 grand yeah. for a, a shop about twice the size of the yeah. apartment. Do you reckon I'll do it on that budget? If you could come in on 50 grand for a shop twice the size of this, then you've Thanks done so. a bloody good job. I reckon you'll spend 100 grand, personally. I'll say I'll go up to 70. What else is I going to ask what, you? What other kind of worries have you got to set up this? I don't actually know nothing about it. I know about the beauty side of things, mm. but I don't know nothing about the Nothing. Yeah, I think I should get doing my own products. Like, you know, you've got your own Lee stuff for this, well. air gear and that. Do you well, think yeah. I should do? You could go to someone like Boots or Super Drug, say, look, I'm setting up my own beauty shop. It's going to be five star, all right? Yeah. Like four star. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and um, you know, I'm interested in doing my own beauty line. What do you think? They might say, Jade, great idea, you know? And so, they... well, you just, I'll just go into Boots and say, can I talk to someone? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Do you pay your staff for their lunch break? Oh, should I not ask that? <laughs> Like, you really need to get some help. <laughs> I'll tell you something that is good to know, is how you're going to pay them. You're going to pay them P-A-Y-E, or you're going to... <laughs> Did you have problems trying to start off? Like, in your first year, was it hard? I was 75 grand in debt in six months. No way. Because my rent was high, my wages were high, I wasn't oh, yeah. taking enough money. So all of a sudden I had all these people 75 grand and didn't have the money there to pay them. Well, and what do you do, though? What do you do if no one's... What, will... what do you do? You just, you just keep slogging away. Oh, fuck until eventually you break even. And, <laughs> when does the profit then, actually come well, into your leg? Well, they say three years. No way. Normally they How? say three years. I'll be 26. Exactly. Are you... Are you prepared to work bloody hard? Yeah, I'm all right to work hard, but just owing people money is my biggest thing. Well, if you're, if, you're, if you're prepared to do whatever it takes, then I'm sure that you'll make it work. Mm. Today's been a little bit scary, actually. Apparently, my budget is not realistic. It's a big risk I'm taking. Everyone, you know, like Lisa said it yourself, you take risks to... If you don't take risks, you don't get nowhere. I mean, I appreciate that, I understand that. But I'm doing this to try and secure a future for me and my children, and it could turn out quite nasty. I love my hula. I'm actually qualified to put makeup on, but if I'm being honest, I don't know how to hold it on myself. I just whack it on here and there, and then the end result should look brown. Oh. I'm going to a, a charity match, the polo. <laughs> Dinner, champagne, and watch the horsey race. <sighs> Second best to do, Mum. Second best. Never went out in hours like that. Sick. But never mind. 
Lucky I've got tits now, because eh? people look at my tits rather than my nails. <laughs> Up. How common? We oui. changing our babies in the boot. Hi, Mark. Hello. How are you doing, baby? <laughs> so you got them out for the boys. Hello. <laughs> oh, are you gorgeous? I'm all right. Hello. Say hello. hello. Is that your silly face? Do you lip, babe? Good running, Bobby. Good running. You live for Christy, yo. Uh... <laughs> we should come on Sunday. The Queen's here on Sunday. That would have been good. How good he makes the Queen. Mummy's <laughs> boobs are hanging out, which is not very nice. No. <laughs> You're not allowed to touch that one. Um, Bobby, you are making us look common. <laughs> say common. Ah. Say common. Bobby, say common. I think she's feeling a little bit nervous, which is uh, understandable because it's like a fish out of water. But uh, in my experience, is that uh, fame takes over everything. These are the women that buy OK magazine that she's on the front cover nine times a year. Jade, Jade is fabulous. I think she's got so great tips. She is so fabulous tips. Awesome. I think that she's absolutely <laughs> epitome of London now. You know, someone who's well, come she's really from nowhere, bold. She's bold. absolutely, you know, the taste of London. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Very much like to welcome you all to the Garth Polo Club on what started to be a fantastic day. We must remember we've all come here on this week to support one cause, and that's Act Against Bullying. There's no shirt, and if I am going to bid, if I'm going to fall to, <laughs> then it'll be for the polo lessons. I don't know why, because you ain't been on your own horse for the past four months. Who's asking you? That's I'm it, I'm not interfering with your life. You, Anyhow. I'm not, I'm when you've done eating, mm. they're going to want to do some pictures for a cake for you. Mm. All right, baby. Take time, take time. I'll just finish it off. I'll get my... Over there when you're done, baby, yeah? Mm -hmm. I'm very happy to offer... Um, actually, I'm going to say three polo lessons, not one polo lesson. Oh, to okay. raise some money for uh, this very good charity. Hi, lady man. It helps you get your leg over. Okay, okay. <laughs> Well, your leg does weigh about six stone. They get those, all right? <laughs> Anyone start me for 300 to learn how to ride a horse? Lovely, Jane. Thank you. 450. 500. 750. 800. 850. 900. 1,000. Pounds. <laughs> 1150 in the corner. 1200 with you, Jane. 1250. Oh, is it me? 1300. Third time. Second time. Third time. Thank you very much. Hello. 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 But I didn't think it was going to go for that much anyway. We just got it for 1300 so... <laughs> Here we go. Keep those smiles brimming over, please. Suddenly, some of the people have had a few drinks and um, a couple of girls are now, or a couple of ladies, are actually going up and asking for her autograph and can they write something for their daughters and this, that and the other. Just my daughter just said That's she all right. so loves pleasure. you. Which is exactly how it goes. Exactly. You guys come and stay for a weekend, right? 
You sure? Absolutely. Well, I'll bring all the kids, barbecue, all that malarkey. <laughs> this is I've had a lovely day today. I am, um, again, 1,300 less rich because I bidded again, but I'm actually really excited about that because I'm going to now learn how to play. Polo! Yeah, you just you look around, I've never been to one of these places before, there's millions of posh people. And then as the day went on, I realised that, yeah, they have got a bit of money and, yeah, they do talk differently, but they are just normal people and they're all really lovely. I've met some lovely people today. And I'm actually coming to stay with a couple of them. <laughs> I've now got friends in high places, as they say it. Speak to you soon. I'm going home now to spend time with my boyfriend and my two boys. Bye. Everything's my fault. Apparently there's a hundred car parking spots in here and I'd come find one. I've no interest in riding at the moment. I haven't for a while. <laughs> Leave their crisps alone, for God's sake. If you want a bad crisp, go to... Oh, you eat their stuff all the time. All the time. Fine. Well, so you don't? You didn't ask to eat the whole Bobby's cookie today, what the man gave him. You didn't, no? I asked to eat it all. Did you ask for a bite and then did yeah. you take half of the cookie and did you ask for another bite? No? Yeah? I had a bite. Oh, whatever, right. I'm proving you eat their food now because you're eating here. You don't eat it normally, is it? Well, maybe it was for you in a beer. Oh, whatever. Get off! Get off! <laughs> Serious! Get off! Come on! Get out of my way, bro. They've got some such nice things in this shop. Ryan! 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 Why are you shouting my name in the shop? People are looking. I like these. Go. Is, That's what is I'm that thinking. real? Is it gross? Oh, it's only fake. Oh, it's plastic. <laughs> you got excited and picked it and was like, this is it, you. No, I didn't. You did. Bye. Thanks a lot. Bye. Me. Me. Head, shoulders, knees and toes. Knees and toes. You do it. Head, shoulders, knees and toes. Bobby, do it. Right. No, it's Jennifer's. Mama. Hello, Bobby. Oh, no. oh, no. What's that, oh, um, Jeff's Father's Day cards, cos I'm not gonna, not gonna be here, so I've got to prepare it all now. Oh, oh I won't be long. I've got a picture to hand with Freddy. I cannot find a picture of Freddy. To put in Jeff's card. Why ain't if you put the toiletries in the case? Yes. Yeah. But is everything ready upstairs, passport? Right, my passport's in my karate bag on the floor. Did you get it, please? I'll get it. You all right, then? Well, yeah, I'm doing something. Well, what are you doing? Well, I'm doing something. She's upstairs getting ready as they're off to Dubai for a week. Her and Ryan, as obviously they haven't had an holiday since they've been together, which is really nice and really good, and the best place they're going to is Dubai. I've been there, it's lovely. Did you get my passport? Yeah. You got the tickets? Yeah. Ryan listens to what Jade says. Simple as that, which unfortunately is sad. You do, don't you know that, you know when you've got a partner and you know you take it for granted, in the end, there's no respect for that partner, so you just don't go anywhere otherwise, do you? The sock things and the handkerchiefs with that special dad on it. Yes. Just put them with that. Yes, That's I can. just half a day prison. Yes, I can. Um, um, now, do I give them to him when he comes and picks them up? Because it's Sunday, Father's Day. Yeah, so you can, and then... Oh, yeah. So you've got a big hole in the back, and I don't know where it is. Yeah, I know, it's a hole in my knickers, which is terrible. Oh, ah! you Oh, yeah. Be good boy. Yeah. 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 You got it? Yeah. This kiss. No, I'm not. No, then you're not saying bye to Nanny. You're saying bye to Mummy. Nanny? Yes. Got to say bye bye to Mummy. You're going to wave like a big boy. Have a lovely holiday. 
Today, well, yeah, today, let's say tomorrow. Today, um, we're going to Dubai. Dubai. That's what people keep saying to me. You're going to Dubai. Dubai. We're going to Dubai, and um, I think he's in the in India. No. Yes, he is, because he's in the Indian Ocean. Yeah, but just because the Indian Ocean's there doesn't mean it's in Dubai. Oh, I mean, it's in India. I, think I don't know, is. I don't know. Because you've got Goa, Indonesia. Yeah, but Dubai, Goa, he's Goa is Dubai. not in Dubai. Dubai? Dubai. <laughs> <laughs> don't say anything more about places. Hey? We've had this conversation before. Don't talk about the world. But they all eat the same familiar food, don't they? Why? Indians eat... No, I don't think people in Tunisia are eating popadons. English people eat popadons. You don't have to be from India to eat popadons. <laughs> you had six last night. <laughs> anyway, right. anyway um, what was I saying? Yeah, we're really, I'm looking forward to it. Um, it's my treat to Ryan to say thanks for getting my horse and just to show him that I do appreciate it, even though I haven't actually had a lot of time to ride it and stuff. Um, and also he's been very supportive and he's a good chap. Supportive of what? You are a good chap. A good what? <laughs> chap. What's that mean? Well, you don't like it when I say boy. And I, I feel stupid saying man, so chap. We'll say boyfriend then. Chap. <laughs> I'll stick to chap. You're a good chap. Ryan's passport. I was, that was my last day at school. 16, went down to Sainsbury's. You've got a spot on your chin as big as your head. I know. No, it was a scab. <laughs> That's Jade, sick. He's in his own What jumper was your grandma wearing that day? Brian, why are you that? Don't be so rude. Brian, this is one out. No, October not. 83. That's not good. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. We're in 05 now. Yes, look, it's a 10 year passport. 3rd of July. Oh, yeah, July. 03, July. <laughs> Lucky I was in my own. Yeah. Thank you very much. Where are we going tonight? No. We'll have a look. EK, EK, look for EK. Emirates, I don't know. EK, Emirates. Yeah. F. F. We're in zones. We need to go to F, that way. Jade Good is setting up her own beauty salon. But has she bitten off more than she can chew? If you could come in on 50 grand, then you've done a bloody good job. I reckon you'll spend 100 grand. I'm doing this to try and secure a future for me and my children, and it could turn out quite nasty. Boyfriend Ryan's driving her mad. Get off. Get off. Serious. I've no interest in Ryan at the moment. Haven't for a while. And they're both off to Dubai. I think he's in India. I don't want to go home. I keep counting how many days I've got left. Well, you're going home, son. <laughs> <laughs> so you're grateful towards me. I understand. Uh, a little bit, but you keep shoving it in my face. No, I don't. Don't be so rude. No, so I do not. So since we've been here, I've paid for like the meals and that. He's such a liar. <laughs> don't say stuff like that because I come across very wrong. I'm, I'm joking. Liar. So hot. Yeah, man. Today is 41 degrees. Thank you. 
I really thought you guys were filming a pornography film. <laughs> I don't believe. I cannot believe that. I thought that. this was the beginning there of it. No, there was no talking. I'm not kidding. <laughs> was there any talking in the film? No, there was no talking. You guys were doing a lot of snuggling. This is like the preview, <laughs> and, uh, the preview of the film. And it was a big camera. You don't see a big camera by the pool. I seriously thought you guys were filming pornography. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's not at all. I'm filming a documentary. Then we, then we no, no. a documentary, not <laughs> porno. A porno in Dubai. <laughs> No, you don't. She used to be on Big Brother. Oh my god! Her name is Jay Gooding. <laughs> Give me one beat to the front. Ah! Be shy oh, now. Jay. Give I me say. two beats to the front. Give me three beats to the front. Oh my gosh! <laughs> okay. Let's go. Keep away from anything orange, gold, green, blue. Staying in a tadpole, basically. I reckon Riley's a little bit scared. I reckon he's more scared than he's letting on bless him. Just get me shark out. Oh no, I don't want to go backwards, I don't like it. Ah, you'll be fine. <laughs> Put your egg lace in your mouth, okay? Then with this hand here, you hold the hand and a couple of fingers on your mask. Right? Okay. Left hand on the back of your head. Oh. Uh, let right. Go. No. No, let go. Let go. Trust me, back of your head like that. Okay. Hold it like. <laughs> okay. Then you cross your legs. No, no, no. Cross your legs. Just knee no, one knee no. over. Oh, no. And then we go one, two, three. Go. <laughs> Easy. Yeah. Excellent. Next. Sugar. Woo. Woo. <laughs> Woo. to the line. Scary when you're out there, when you're in this house. 
three, two, one, go. Dive crew. That means that we've just qualified as two specialised divers. Because uh, we killed a shark between us. <laughs> I did most of the work, but Jay finished it. Gotta <laughs> <laughs> get back to the shop stuff now, which I'm not really looking forward to. If I get back and the salad hasn't progressed, then, you know, obviously I'm not gonna just like give up and say, oh, this is a load of cob wash. I don't want to be part of it anymore, because of course I do, it's my business, it's what I want to be part of. But um, it will really, really piss me off and then I'll just have to start slagging people off and just letting my mouth open, because I've not really done that very much. I will let it rip this time, I'm not, I'm not going to hold back at all. It's a joke, it's completely not a joke, that would have been like a month or something, it was just pathetic. Bye. Bye, thank you. Bye. I've missed Jade really lots. I miss Ryan because he's with Jade, obviously, but I, I do miss Jade when she goes away. And she brought lots back, and she's got lots shipping over, but she didn't even buy me a pair of sunglasses or flip-flops. What are these, Jade? They're very pretty. My curtains, my bedroom. Are they the ones you bought in Dubai? <sighs> oh, they're very nice. That's the first holiday she's come back and bought me nothing. Nish! Come to think, Nish! How can you go to Dubai and not even buy me a pair of earrings or nothing? <sighs> What's this ring? I don't know, it's just... Got you? No. Nothing. Oh, it's pretty. What, while you was away in Dubai? <sighs> Did you bring me back anything? I think we know, but nothing, I'm afraid. Oh, George, you never bring me no flip-flops. We, we did try to, we tried to get you some slippers. Oh, yeah, I see, I told you, didn't I? Yeah. No, just a black pants. Don't break it, and then it's getting so hot. Look, she snaps your sausage and it's burning up. <laughs> what are you doing later? I've got Gary and Carly as in. What? I have a pampering fucking party. A pampering party? Painting people's toenails and people's fingers, which I really don't want to do. So then do you really have to do it? Yeah. Why? Because she's organised it and I have to do it for these people. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> oh, just don't know. I just can't bother to do it. No, I can't bother to do nothing. I've just got too much to do, so the shop business is getting right on my nerves. Going around doing pampering parties. I've only got a million other thousand things to be doing. I'm painting someone's poxy toenails. Got nothing else to do at night. I've got things to do, Ryan. I've got to go to a garden centre. I've got to buy furniture. I've got to pack my papers. I've got a garage that needs unloading. Don't tell me I've got nothing else to do. Every other night I probably don't do nothing because I'm sitting here looking after kids. Who looks after the kids? Oh, sorry, you do, oh. super, 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 mate. Not us. Super, mate. Hello. Um, yeah. Um, look, yeah. Yeah. Oh, shut up. This is my time. The one minute of a little bit of time I've got to myself. I'm going around painting people's toenails and quite frankly, they can paint them themselves. <laughs> Oh, hello, Lucy. You're right. Yeah, you? Yeah. Mwah, I'm a bit late. That's all right. Just help yourself to food and drink. Right, we need to get started then. We'll do pedicures first. Little pedi, fancy little pedi. I don't mind a pedicure. I need to do it like that. You know the um, there's a spray on the table. And yeah. 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 actually we spray our hands and spray every tool. Yeah. And you know there's a pot of um hill cream. Like that. Yeah. Don't dunk your hands in. Get an orange stick and get it out like that. Remember I was taught at college. Yeah. Well, just remind me of that, I don't think you'll remember. Uh, can you uh, please use dirty tools on no, her feet? No, but I just remind you got a spray. I know. Jade, we'll do this Jessica way, yeah? So wipe the hard skin off first, then soak scrub. Oh, we've got hard skin, it? No, really. <laughs> <laughs> That's playing netball, does that? 
I'm only doing one and one and then that's it. Because I want to drink and eat and watch telly and that. <laughs> Go on, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> to your clients. <laughs> I'm not paying to come to that place. <laughs> <laughs> Can't work in conditions like this, to be honest. It's twisted all out. <laughs> oh, God, I can't do this all day, every day. No way. I mean, it's horrible. That's it, you're done. Lovely, thank you. Fabulous. <sighs> Why she tired now? No, I just call yeah, have some more drinks and Jay Bola, more drinks and food. Laughing, Did she put um, fishermen between your toes when she came yeah. in? Did she do a top coat? Yeah. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> tell you what, girl. <laughs> and I, I tell you what. Do you know what Kylie said to me? Right? Before I started uh, coming down, I need to talk to you. So when she went, um, can I just remind you, you have to sanitise your hands, <laughs> sanitise the feet, and sanitise your thinking, Fuck off, I have qualified. Five. Just because you work in the salon, <laughs> I'm busy trying to sort out our salon. Thanks for chipping it. See you, Kelly. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. God, this thing cheats and shows the tone at them. What are we going to do? Watch the end video now. Yeah, yeah let's watch the so. end of it. I can't believe that thunder and lightning. I know. It's actually quite scary. Ah! <laughs> oh, my God! Where's our phones? 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 Where's <laughs> this happened in the forest. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to take me seriously! <laughs> Carly, you're lighting too many candles, you spoiled the affair. Yeah, we were, we were oh, going to no. do that. Oh! <laughs> 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 I wanted to tell you my story. <laughs> Does it stop your car? Does it stop, like... You car from working that no. stuff. Are you sure? Of course it does. No. Well, if you the power cut in the house, how can you not give a power cut in the car? Because the car's electric. The lights are electric. Hi, you on your way home? Ah. Oh, yeah. Ah. Yeah, I know, but the car is like running its own electric circuit. The key, I don't know how cars work, but you know. Mm. But you don't know that for sure, do you? You're just, you're just we'll getting. Thank you, thank you. I'll see you later. <laughs> All right. See you later, bye. Oh! My got cool. Bye! 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 And that, you know, when I was talking to Shana, she was like, you're excited and we will be coming to your salon to do this. It does make me feel really good and really proud of what we're doing. I can get people really easily. I can get moody really easily. Um, but my friend, it just takes something like that just to cheer me up and put a smile back on my face if it actually is all worth it. All in all, today's been an all right day. I've had me ups, me downs, the ump, quite funny. It's been all right. Where do you want to go? I don't know. Should we go King's Road? Where is that? What is it? Huh? That King's Road, a nice place. Yeah. You went to Tesh and David's office before. You've been there before with me, Tesh and David. Yeah, you have. We drove down to Tesh and David's office. I don't know where it is, do I? He's down there saying no. Yeah, well, I don't remember it. God. Fuck off. Stop being a dick. Why, why am I being a dick? Moo. No, I come up to you and, like, you was, I thought you was waiting for me to, like, say what oh. to do. I didn't know what you said, did I? It's boring. Oh, fuck off, Jade, man. Fucking boring. Don't twist right, it around. Alright, 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 alright. Chat shit. Alright. It's you though, that's the problem. Yeah. It's, you. it's not my fault you got a short temper. Okay. Ignorant bitch. I just don't think you So what are you going on for then? I'm not. We shut your mouth in. I'm not a lover of Ryan. 
I think he knows that too. I think Jade knows that too. Um, he's too dirty for me. Like silly things, prophetic things. Like, you know, you put something in the microwave and it takes two seconds to clean the microwave and you just leave it rotten, you know, because he's decided to put something in there and let it splatter everything. Look, it's splattered everywhere, right? I have the lid on. Wrong, then something else is splattered. I don't think he's right for Jade. No. He's too laid back for Jade. Far too laid back for Jade. Jade needs that little bit of domineering and she hasn't got it at this moment. You know, it, she hasn't. You just said you wanted to go self -tune. No, I said you wanted to go self didn't you? Me and Ryan are no longer together. Um, you probably would have read it in papers or something. Um, I would like to bad mouth him, but then that would just be silly and making myself look stupid. So, all I can say on the Ryan subject is that I think he had to go back to school. School holidays are over. I'm very lucky, to be honest, to have met someone so early um, and for them to be really genuine. And we get on really, really well. He actually makes me feel like a little school girl. Ryan! Get off! Get off! You're serious? Enough! I've no interest in Ryan at the moment. I haven't for a while. Obviously, I tried to keep it quiet, cos I just wanted to try and just not talk, bother talking about it. But um, he's out now. But he's a sick photo. My actual belly is bad, but he doesn't look like that. Apparently in here it's because I'm looking to get back with Jeff Brazier. And I think that's very unfair. Jeff's a child, but he's using Jade. Jeff's actually got his own income, his own actual career now. The whole Ryan situation, I've not actually been upset about it. Reason being because how it ended, it wasn't very nice. And also to read in the paper that you've gone and sold a story and it just makes you think, what are people like? If somebody said to me, Jade, can you tell your story about Ryan? You know, I would have kept all that. To myself, that's like you take to the grave with you, that you lock someone in their bloody ass and stroke their face and tell them it's all right, sweetheart. It's all weird. It doesn't upset me seeing it in a magazine. It's not the first time. It won't be the last time. It don't really bother me, to be honest. As you can see, I've already passed that page and I'm just looking at the rest of the magazine now. Everyone has boyfriends and everyone splits up. So like, what? Big deal. Next time on Jade Salon, how many Essex girls does it take to fill an X5? Jade, she's got a new car and it's we can't nice. work out how to put petrol in it. Jade's not convinced about her manager Carly's commitment. You either want one extreme to the other, there's no in-between. There's either, I'll do, I'll do, I'll do, I'll do nothing, I'll do nothing, I'll do nothing. And designer Derek whisks Jade off to gay Paddy. Who paint the morning leaves there? Pins and Van Gogh? No. Pistachio? <laughs> <laughs> I did at this time in my life to lose weight because I don't want to go on living like this any longer. Well, next, it's an all-new Grey's Anatomy and things are hotting up between the interns.